What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidugo Vibes here coming at you again with another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you another brand that's a great alternative to Rick Owens, Black Merle. If you are new to Vidugo Vibes, here on this channel I upload two videos every single week regarding outfits, pickups, how to style certain shit, reviewing certain products, anything like that. So if you are new, subscribe. This video is sponsored by Black Merle so I really, really appreciate it bro, like for real. But Honestly, I get hit up on my emails and on IG a, a fair bit regarding like, can you do like a sponsored video on this? Can you do review on this? But most of the time I do turn it down just because it doesn't fit my aesthetic and I know you guys majority won't fuck with it unless I do. So the owner of Blackmail hit me up on IG and he told me that one of my subscribers, Kevin Lee, appreciate you bro. Kevin told him and he told me that, hey, one of your subscribers uh, like told me about your channel. I watched a few of your videos. My the aesthetic that you present actually really fits with the brand. Do you want me to send you a few products? And I said, hey, let me just check the website real quick and let me see for real. And man, I was like, I'm 110% for it because of the fact that aesthetic it gives off and the actual image that the brand gives fits my style personally. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit you. If you aren't about wearing all black, just like the video first and then go watch something else because it's just basically all black. It's very, very avant-garde. But we'll get into these pickups. So I got a sweatshirt, pair of pants, and two accessories, which we'll get into real quick. So the first collection is Incarnate. That's the label of the actual collection. And it's basically avant-garde mixed with punk slash metal type vibe. So the two accessories that I have, I've got them both together. But the first one is this black, it's labeled dog tag. So it's basically a black band and it has the Merle branding right there. And all you do is you pretty much just clip this on your pair of pants and actually does come with the trousers that I got sent. So it's just a very black band and on the back, it has like a, you know when you like open your purse, not your purse, you know when you open your mum's purse and you grab some coins out, it's basically like that clasp and it's just stitched on the back with just a metal hook right here. This is the first accessory that comes with the pants that we'll feature in a minute, but this one is my favorite by far because I've been looking for something like this for a freaking long time. So basically it is labeled the dog leash, I think that's what it's called, and it's 30 bucks a pop, but it's just a chain, just a simple loop chain here with a black tassel long down the bottom and it's followed by some nice hardware right there. You can pair it up with this. I think personally, I might not rock the black band. I think it's a little bit too much for me, but that's just me personally. It might fit your aesthetic more, but I most likely will go with a simple chain. Obviously on the on body, I have both of them paired up, but you know, for an everyday outfit, I'm probably just gonna wear the chain with the leather tassel as well. So those are the two accessories. And once again, I just wanna say this, that I really appreciate getting sent these things. Like it never really happens. So for something to get sent to me, and something that's actually worth wearing, I take full advantage to it and I hope you guys do as well with the discount code fam. But this next one is called the Manifesto Crew Neck and it has a ripped collar at the top that's very nice and tight as well, which is super sweet. It has a ripped sleeve as well that's very stretchy and also this patchwork that's on the left sleeve. So basically this patch represents a Tazara poem or Tazari poem, I can't remember what it was called, but the poem itself the owner of the brand, there's like a whole video on how we did it and it's very aesthetically pleasing to watch and it's really good editing and filming. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link as well. But this one, the Tazar poem is basically, he rips out words from a magazine or certain magazines or news articles, whatever, throws it in a bag, shakes the bag and takes out one word at a time and creates a poem and that poem represents the whole collection itself. But getting onto the fit, it's a very oversized, boxy and elongated fit so if that's what you want, that's what you're gonna get. Along with that, it has a scallop hem towards the back, nothing on the back apart from the incarnate branding from his first collection and it's also wrangling cut sleeves. Now this is a size large and let me get into the freaking quality dude. So this is French terry cotton but it's pre-washed so it minimizes shrinkage and it's boiled. Like what the fuck? It's boiled so you can get that really nice rough texture throughout the whole garment itself. I'm pretty sure I'll have some close-ups and b-roll for that, but it's a very rough texture at top, so it gives it like that really worn-in effect, but the inside is super soft. And then lastly, price point, because price point reflects the brand itself. I mean, if something, if you see it's overpriced, you're not going to buy it. This, on the other hand, it's down to $79, plus a further 10% off, so when you use Vibes. So basically, you get your same aesthetic from Rick, but you save like 400 bucks off. Cause like a long sleeve from Dark Shadow ranges from like three to 400. So 72 bucks dude, 79 plus 10% off, can't complain. Last but not least is a pair of pants that honestly, when I got them, I was like, I really don't know 
know how I'm going to work this. But then when I saw the model wear them, and when I tried them on and paired them up properly with like Ramones, I was pleased because they fit like a glove. So these are the Miller 13 pants and it's a, it's like, it's like a mixture between a pair of sweatpants, but they're trousers. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I mean, it's twill, it's twill cotton, 100% twill cotton, and it has an elastic waistband at the top that this is a size large, and it varies for like a 33, 34 for reference, but it has elastic, elastic, uh, what the fuck? Elastic lace, what the fuck? Elastic waistband followed by just normal black drawstrings has one pocket on each side followed by another pocket on both sides at the back Followed by a very simple drop crotch which honestly I would have liked to see more of a drop crotch on these pair of trousers or sweatpants or whatever I would have much preferred to see a more an extreme drop crotch That's just me because sometimes you're going a little bit higher But with these I'm really not going to complain to because it has that reinforced crotch lining and followed by a very straight cut, if I can get back a little bit. No, you can't see. You'll see on the arm body. It's a very straight cut followed by a semi-tapered fit towards the end of the actual pants. However, the most interesting part is the raw cuff. Like, it's just a raw seam. And I was like, how do I do this? Like, how do I wear this without making it look stupid, if that makes sense? I saw the model wear it, right? The model wore it tucked into socks. I tried that. That shit looked Fucking me, 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 fucking me. So I did that and I loved it. But when I tried this, just leave it hang, leave it as it is, just had it, you know, draping over my Ramones, I fucking loved it. It's a very slim, straight cut and you just, you know, let it drape over. It doesn't have that many stacks. It's very straight. And that's what I want because I don't want to have like a very skinny sweatpant because honestly, it'll make you look like you're going to like, you know, the gym or something. So having this like straight semi cut makes it look like it's dressed up even though it's a sweatpant. So you're gonna get the comfort, you know, be able to just lounge around, but at the same time look stylish. It's very hard to make sweatpants look stylish, but just, this motherfucker has belt loops, bro. Like belt loops. So what I did was I put the chain and the dog tag together and let it sit on this. And it's very, very avant-garde and very punk s as well with the chain. And it just works. It works wonders for me. Cause you can wear the sweatshirt and you can wear the trousers and a pair of Ramones. It's simplistic, it's simple, it doesn't, you don't have to try hard to even pull it off, anyone can do it. And lastly, the price point. These are 250 I know, that's very pricey for a, a startup brand, I know. But they're on sale for 120 bucks, man. Or like 120, 130 bucks. Take away 10% off that, you save yourself an extra 10, 13 dollars, whatever. It's basically $110 for a pair of sweatpants that are a lot more stylish than your average fucking Nike tech fleece shit. And if you look, just look on the bright side, right? You save yourself like 400, 300 bucks because when you go to dark shadow drawstring pants, that shit retails for like 400 bucks. You can get the same aesthetic with this and a lot more stylish, apart from the drawstrings, but that doesn't really matter. But man, I'm really pleased with those two and I'm gonna wear them a lot more. Unfortunately, I'm probably not gonna do the weekly vibes anymore because everyone thinks it's all fucking repetitive and I agree with you. But I'm gonna wear this on a daily dude and you can probably, you will see me in my IG and I'll probably do like an outfit every now and then. So with that being said, before you go, you guys wanna know the discount code. The discount code is VIBES. VIBES will save you 10% off on your checkout. So can't, can't go wrong with 10% off, bro. If you wanna join the gang, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video right there. I will see you guys in the next video on Vigigo Vibes. I'm out, guys.